Many businesses rely on big data to produce business reports and make strategic business decisions because they recognize how crucial it is for their success. They need to collect, store and provide insights from raw data in the proper manner for their projects to be successful. But gathering data with the intention of producing insightful information is not a simple undertaking. The amount, diversity and velocity of big data provides difficulty. Additionally, the majority of businesses lack the computational capacity required to process enormous amounts of data. Fortunately, the data engineering pipeline can greatly simplify things. And that's what we'll be discussing today. Hello and welcome to this video by IntelliPad. In this video, we will talk about data engineering pipeline. On number one, we have what is a data engineering pipeline. Moving next, we have what happens inside a data pipeline. After that, what goes behind designing a data pipeline? Fourth up, we have engineering strategies to build a resilient data pipeline. Next, we have benefits of implementing a data pipeline. And then, conclusion. Before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon for regular updates from us. Now, let's get started with our first agenda, that is, what is a data engineering pipeline? The layout and organization of algorithms and models that copy, purge, or modify data as necessary make up a data engineering pipeline. Additionally, it immediately sources data to a data lake or warehouse, for example. Simply put, a data pipeline automates all data-related actions in the pipeline and streamlines and automates the flow of data from one point to another. These include data loading, data transformation, data input, and data extraction. Next up, we have what happens inside a data pipeline. Not all data pipelines include data processing. Usually, the main goal is to use raw data that has been transferred from database sources and SaaS platforms to data warehouses. However, the data engineering pipeline's responsibilities frequently include processing or transforming the data in some way. This is due to the possibility that the raw data loaded from a source may not be accurate or useful. In order for it to be useful at its next node, it must be modified. The data engineering pipeline improves end-to-end -end speed by removing errors and thwarting bottlenecks or delays. Nevertheless, it is essential to clean up data right after ingestion. This is due to the fact that it may take a long time to reverse engineer the entire process once inaccurate or implausible data has been ingested into databases for analysis or used to train machine learning algorithms. Inside data pipelines, multiple streams of data are processed simultaneously. The data is absorbed either in streams or in batches. As a result, any data source can be used with the data pipeline. Additionally, the data destination is not specifically emphasized. It does not have to be a data warehouse or lake for storing data. Next up, we will see what goes behind designing a data pipeline. The system layers of a data engineering pipeline vary. Data is sent from one subsystem to the next until it reaches its final destination. First up, we have data sources. The lakes, wells, and streams where businesses first gather data are referred to as data sources. They are essential to the overall design and the initial component of a data pipeline. When data is poor quality, there is nothing to load and transfer through the pipeline. Next, we have ingestion. Operations that read data received from data sources are referred to as ingestion. These are the equivalent of pumps and aqueducts in the plumbing sector. Data is frequently profiled to evaluate its characteristics, organization, and suitability for a certain business purpose. The data is loaded in batches or by streaming after data profiling. When data sources are retrieved and processed sequentially as a group, this is known as batch processing. Based on the pre-established criteria by developers and analysts, the ingestion components reads, transforms, and transmits a collection of records. A sort of data intake technique called streaming outputs, individual records, or sets of data, one at a time from data sources. Organizations that need real-time data for analytics or business intelligence applications that demand the least amount of delay employs it. Next up we have transformation. The structure or format of the information after extraction from data sources may need to be changed. 
The transformation of data can take many distinct forms. These consist of creating descriptive values from coded values, filtering, aggregation, and combination. Then we have destinations. Destinations are like water tanks in that regard. A data warehouse is the final destination of data that has been through the data pipeline. An organization's flawless master data is kept in one place in a specialized database called a data warehouse. Data analysts and corporate leaders can use the data for analytics, business intelligence, and reporting. Lastly, we'll talk about monitoring. The fact that data pipelines are composed of networking, hardware, and software systems adds to the complexity. Of course, any of these individual parts could malfunction. Therefore, it is very important to ensure efficient pipeline activities from the data source to the destination. Moving data from one subsystem to another may have an impact on the data's quality. For instance, data may deteriorate or replicate itself. As the duties get more complex and the quantity of data sources rises, these problems become more significant in size and influence. Construction, monitoring, and maintenance of data pipelines take time and effort. Therefore, developers should create the necessary scripts to aid data engineers in conducting performance evaluations and fixing any issues that may arise. Organizations should have personnel who are solely responsible for safeguarding data flow along the data pipeline. Next, we have a few engineering strategies to build a resilient data pipeline. Firstly, we have carry out data audits. Before creating a data pipeline, perform a data audit. Understanding previous data models, the characteristics of the systems you're importing from and exporting to, and the expectations of businesses and their users are all necessary for this. Next is building gradually. Create your data pipeline's components or subsystems in a modular, adaptable manner. This is so that you don't make anything that does not serve your purpose before you figure out what you need. The requirements are not clear until a business user asks for a time series that they have now realized they need but the system does not allow. Next we'll talk about regularly revising your goals. As you build the data pipeline, your goals will probably continue to advance. You should therefore construct a Google document that you can constantly refer back to and edit as necessary. You should also ask the other parties engaged in the data pipeline to put their goals in writing. You don't want to end up in a situation where someone thinks that everyone thinks the same way they do. Next, building frugally. Your budget will likely be exceeded by cost. All of the common personal budgetary guidelines apply when building a budget for a data pipeline. Next, we'll be talking about creating working teams. Have the business representatives, data scientists, data engineers, and data analysts collaborate as a team on the data pipeline project. Since group problem solving is more efficient than individual issue solving, they should work together to solve difficulties. At a lesser cost, functional groupings build efficient data pipelines. Next, we have putting observability tools into use. You are able to see within your data pipeline using observability technologies. Therefore, if the pipeline is down, you can easily identify the issue and solve it. Next, we'll talk about the benefits of implementing a data pipeline. A data pipeline automates finding and fixing anomalies, and this presents data professionals with a wide range of exciting options, such as seamless access to data. Data pipelines centrally gather, assemble, and store data produced by multiple devices. There is no requirement for human involvement in any part of this automated procedure. As a result, the data in the consolidated location is accessible to both internal and external data teams. As long as they have the proper data access rights, they can do this. Spending less time and effort. The adoption of a data pipeline results in the total automation of tasks involving data. Consequently, less human involvement is required. Anomalies are automatically found and alerts shown when an integrated observability tool is used inside a data pipeline. As a result, data pipeline managers' effort is reduced because they are spared the time-consuming task of tracking down the cause of data mistakes. Additionally, 
Since the data flow is now fully automated, requests from data teams are swiftly answered. For instance, if the data analyst determines that the quality of data is unsuitable, they can quickly request and receive replacement data. Next up, we have compatibility with a variety of data sources. Any data source can be used for data pipeline. The data is transformed into a single format using a procedure known as data ingestion, which lightens the effort of data teams. Massive volumes of data are ingested into the pipeline throughout this process, either in batches or in real time, from a variety of sources. After that, the data is put to use for analytics and business reporting requirements. Next, we'll talk about enhancing the data lifecycle processes speed. Data extraction from the source, location, and method of transfer, and final destination are all parts of the data lifecycle. Automation and implementation of the pipeline's operations in a predetermined order minimizes the need for human involvement. The data movement is automatic, and everything about it happens automatically. Next, we'll talk about excellent training data sets. The training data set used as input determines how well machine learning models perform to a large extent. Data pipelines clean up and transform unprocessed data into information. Therefore, deep learning models and artificial intelligence systems can both utilize these high quality training data sets. Lastly, we have exchanging information among data teams. Data pipelines enable smooth data access and exchange for data teams. Similar processing is applied to the data collected from various field equipment for a variety of applications. For instance, data engineers and data scientists clean the data before ingesting it into machine learning or deep learning models. As a result, various teams within the same organization may put the same data through a number of identical processes. Redundancy affects data storage in a similar way. Data teams don't have to repeat the data-related activities when they request data from a pipeline. Time is saved this way. Now let's conclude. Organizations have two alternatives when it comes to data pipeline. Either create their own code for a data pipeline or use a SaaS pipeline. Enterprises can use SaaS data pipeline, which are simple to set up and administer to establish data pipelines rather than spending time writing ETL code from scratch. Whatever the option, a data pipeline has tremendous benefits for an organization. Data managers' workloads are reduced because of the automation of data extraction, ingestion, and error detection, as well as teams can access data easily. Other advantages include improved analytics as a result of high quality training data sets and quicker anomaly detection and correction. And that's it for this video. Thanks. Just a quick info, guys. If you want to make a career in data engineering, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in data engineering associated with MIT. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.